They said it would never happen. They said there was way too much controversy over this topic. They said it wouldn't be possible. Well, guess what? It is possible. And we're getting a semi-automatic AR rifle in Call of the Wild. I just got back from hunting wild boar for the past three days out in West Texas. And let me tell you what, I had an absolute blast out there hunting with my 308 AR semi-automatic Palmetto rifle. And a couple days before that, we made a video saying that if we get an AR and a 308 caliber in Call of the Wild, I'm going to absolutely freak out. And guess what? We got one. Here I am out in the middle of the brush in so much thick thorns hunting for wild boar with my 308. And I get a message saying that we're getting a 308 caliber AR in Call of the Wild at the exact moment that I'm literally barreling through all kinds of thorn and brush. And a couple seconds later, I'm literally shooting at nice wild boar. I thought I was dreaming. <laughs> Until a cactus stuck me really good. And then I realized, yep, I am definitely not dreaming. And let me tell you what, those cactuses do not feel very good. Man, they don't feel very good. But yeah, it's true. We're actually getting a semi-automatic 308 caliber AR rifle in Call of the Wild. And I'm going to show you a little bit more about that sweet rifle coming up on February 22nd. Introducing the Zarza 10. 308 baby let's go my friends let's go this gun if what I have read and what I have heard is true will be replacing your M1 take a look at this uh huh uh huh Oh, the boom is felt across Hirschfeld in this morning. Not too shabby at all. Wow. So uh, we are holding. Well, let's see which ones have we got here. Let's take a look at our inventory. So we've got the Moonlight and the Stalker. So here's the Moonlight. I know. Make. Oh, make this. I, I really quite like these irons. I think it looks great. The sound is incredible. It really is. Um, oh, I didn't even aim there or hold my breath or nothing. There we go. Now, the one thing I will say, and this has been my only complaint thus far with our new ARs in the game, I find you have to use the top right corner of the irons. I will uh, definitely pass that info along. Use that top right corner, pretty accurate. Look at that grouping. Not too bad, man. I dig it. I dig it. Well, sorry, old girl, but uh, you're getting a little bit of a replacement. That it's freehand, not aiming or not holding my breath at all. Quick, snappy follow ups. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Let's head out. Let's go and field test this. We're heading over to good old Silver Ridge Peaks, baby. Oh, my goodness. Zeroed in for 150. <laughs> oh, one to spare. Oh my goodness. So a lot of people have been asking me, am I excited about the new AR coming to Call of the Wild? Well, what do you think? <laughs> I'm absolutely just freaking out inside right now. I'm totally freaking out right now. I can't even hold my composure. But also, I have about two days of video editing that I need to do in order to get ready for my wild boar hog hunt video or my wild boar hunt video. And so, yeah, I have that on my mind too. I wasn't planning on having two incredible things on my mind. I have literally almost two days worth of footage on my GoPro. And then I have a video camera and I have my phone. I have footage on all of them. So I have to go through them all, sort them all out and I was actually really excited to do that, but then the 308 came out and called the wild and I'm like, okay, I got to talk about this first. I definitely got to talk about this first because, well, as you're soon going to see in my video, 
The 308 is just one incredible rifle, and I hope you guys enjoy the video because it was definitely a hunt of a lifetime for me. I took down eight hogs in the past three days. My brother was out there, and a couple of his friends were out there. And in total, we took down 32 hogs in three days. Do you realize how cool the 308 AR is going to be in Call of the Wild? I... I'm going to have a very difficult time explaining this, but it's going to be like the best rifle of all time. Like game changing, absolutely incredible. And by far the new coolest rifle of all time. Dude, that's a pie ball. And a horrible shot. But that uh... got her. Whoa! What the heck did we hit? Oh, are you kidding me? Because one shot and she started dropping down to 50% almost instantly. And five shots? Trust me. Most of the time when I was hunting this weekend, I only shot like three, four times. One time I did shoot six times, but that was a lot. I had, I think, like 10 hogs coming towards me. And I shot, and the first three shots, pigs went down. And so the next couple of shots, they were kind of just follow up. I honestly, I really don't think you need more than five shots. So I'm super content with the fact that we do have five shots in order to be legal and ethical for hunting in pretty much anywhere. I mean, yeah, would I prefer 20 shots? Of course. Yeah, I have a 20 round clip, trust me. But I'm just saying, five shots, super fast, <laughs> you can do a lot of good. That shot was so far out there that I don't even know if we got double lung. Because typically, you would get double lung. Here's our buck down right here. Let's find out. So it was so far out that we hit the shoulder blade 377 yards and managed to bust through and still get a single lung and a giant 236 gold white tail buck is down but the 308 is going to have more power than this 303 so basically that same shot there probably would have been a double lung drop shot with a 308 ar at 370 yards can you even imagine how good that's going to be at a running white tail or a running mule deer black bear like anything that you can hunt with it wow so I was a little bit off, but this is going to be pretty cool if we find her. Oh, she's laying right where I last spotted her. Now, if you had to guess, where would you think we hit her? I'm going to say liver. And not only that, that's a sweet piebald variant as well. Because she's almost all white with just a little bit of brown and kind of orangish tan colored on her. So we'll take a picture, because that's the pretty cool looking um, pie ball there. Alright, so let's find out where we hit. Again, I'm saying liver. Somehow we got spinal cord. So back hind quarter, spinal cord at 416 yards. But because she has such a cool looking pie ball that has a really cool white chest and everything, all the way up to the neck to the nose all the way down to the bottom of the feet we're getting her mounted and check that out a pure white tail the question is are you feeling lucky we got a gobber out there at about 400 yards got him hit twice you would think that would take him down Yep, I do believe that should take him down. 25%. That gobbler is so far out that I can hardly even see the red head. But he did go down. 350 yard shot. And we dropped just a little bit low, but the second shot connected on the lung at 350 yards and a 4.4 gold. Gobbler down with a 22 Hornet. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. 
Ooh, there we go. That's a beast of a whitetail buck. 214 to 255. What? A friggin' money shot. I mean, that was absolutely perfect. He's out there trotting at about 200, and I hold it right in front of his front shoulder. So basically shot right in the direction that he was heading, and he walked right into the bullet, and we just smoked him. And that's actually, well, that kind of reminds me of uh, my second hog that I got during my hunt. It jumped up 80 yards out, and it was running perfectly broadside for me. The first shot I held right in front of its snout, and when I shot, I mean, it looked good, but it kept running. So I shot again and it never came out through the next opening. So at that point I realized, well, I'm pretty sure I hit it good because otherwise it would have came out the next opening. I go over there and it's literally laying 10 feet from where I took the first shot. So I lit it perfectly. But this is a beautiful white tail down right here. Should be like a 235 or 240s buck. Sweet looking rack. I love this one because it has a bunch of points, awesome tines, decent mass, and just a really, really cool looking buck. 239.9 gold. Took him at 185 yards out on the trot, right lung, liver, and a stomach shot. So what an epic shot and a beautiful whitetail buck down. But anyways, on that note, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now you guys know how I feel about the new 308 AR coming to Call of the Wild. It's literally going to be game changing. And I'm super, super thankful for all of you guys to be able to help us have a voice. So that way EW listens to our thoughts and feedback. Because without you, there would be no us. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. I cannot even believe what we accomplished. Do you realize what we've done? We inspired them to make semi-automatic AR rifles in Call of the Wild. And not only semi-automatic rifles, but a 308 caliber semi-automatic AR rifle. And it looks sick. It looks absolutely prestige. Like the camo job, I couldn't ask for anything else. I mean, it just looks awesome. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. You guys all mean the world to me. I hope you guys are excited to be able to see the new hog hunting video that I'm going to have coming out soon for you guys here to watch. But that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.